Hey everybody, welcome back, and this is episode 2 of the Castle Crashers Let's Play. Um, last episode I left you guys off from defeating this guy over here, so I'm gonna go up and see how much I can finish in the next 10 minutes. Alright. So, uh, I don't know about you guys, but this summer seems like the most laziest summer I've ever had. Now, you know, most people are like, oh, no, 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 summer should just be for fun, blah, 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 but no, like, this is straight up lazy, like, my friends will invite me out somewhere, and I literally make up the dumbest excuses, like, ah, oh, dude, I can't go, my underwear tore into three pieces, and I think it's stuck inside me, so I'm gonna go to the hospital, and I won't be back until the end of summer. <laughs> and, you know, obviously they're going to get mad and they're going to be like, come on, dude, come hang out with us. So I will, but for the most part, I've just been really, really lazy, playing games a lot. And that's probably how I ended up getting this capture card to make these videos. And besides just that, uh, lately, no, not lately, recently, my cousin came down and she's here with her son. My son's about three years old and he is the cutest, like, he is the cutest kid I've ever seen. No kid should ever be this cute. It's insane. Now, I remember when I was little, I wasn't, I don't know, well, I didn't feel cute, you know? Obviously everyone's like, oh, toddlers and stuff, they're cute, but I didn't, I didn't feel cute. All I knew is that I was spoiled as balls. Like, I refused to go anywhere unless my dad carried me, which was a big problem for them because of the fact that they were already getting kind of older and I was I was starting to get bigger, like probably around like age seven, eight, I would still refuse to go anywhere unless they carried me. And I remember this one time we were in, I don't know if I should say the place, but we were at this place, right? And there's a bunch of boats and stuff and so it's for cruise ships and people were going on vacation, but we were just chilling there, walking around, you know, taking the scenery. And this is a huge distance. Like, we had to walk at least two miles to, well, not a huge distance, but pretty decent distance when you're carrying somebody. We were about two miles from beginning to the end, and then two miles back, and the entire time I would not set my feet on the ground. If he put my feet on the ground, you, the first thing you would hear is screaming and crying and everybody yelling at me, but, you know, being a spoiled kid when I was little, they always gave up. Mm. Well, I don't know. This kid's pretty damn cute, and I would probably spoil him if he was my son. That's how cute he is. But I don't think my sister feels the same. Well, I mean, she thinks he's cute, but when she was younger, I would try to avert the attention from her to me. Now it's kind of the other way around, so karma bites you in the ass, but mm, I had a pretty good childhood. Her still living my childhood. I'm only 16. <laughs> what else? So I don't know about you guys, but even though I'm starting from the beginning, I'm liking this game so far again. And here's the first boss that shows up. I really don't know if any of them have names. I've never looked up anything on this game except for the character evolutions or unlocking I'm not sure what you would consider them oh god oh god <laughs> alright sorry if I don't talk much right now this guy's ready to mess me up or not what's up dude uh oh haha <laughs> what are you gonna get to do to me now <laughs> oh! That's not cool. Hmm. I love that he hits his own teammates, though. It's like. Uh, not realistic, because it's a cartoon game, but. Like, it seems fair that he doesn't just explode with attacks and everyone can hit you and you can't hit anybody else. I mean, you can, but it doesn't work like that. For anybody that's going to play this game, what I'm going to tell you is shield. A lot, but not doing that. In this game, there's not it's not just hack and slash. Like, you got to avoid shield if you want to... 
You don't know, have to, but if you want to live longer, my best advice is probably, you know, avoid those because I suck at them. But pick up all the health you can. Shield against. Oh god. Check this out. Did I not tell you this game was ridiculous? <laughs> but uh, for the most part, yeah, just shield. Shield, shield, shield. I don't know if they. Yeah, see. You just shield and dodge those. Shoot some magic. Shield again. He beats his own teammate up because he sucks. Oh, this guy's in for a treat. No, I am. <laughs> I don't know if you can shield against this. Let's find out. Nope. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, see what I'm saying about the health? Pick up those fruits as much as possible. It is the most helpful thing ever, and you don't really want to be down potions because you never know when you need them. And getting money is a pain unless you do a lot of missions. A lot of missions. Go away, please. This doesn't concern you. You just grunts or something. See? He doesn't care about you. Why would you join his side? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, you're gonna laugh at me. Bye bye. Mm. Another thing is pretty much make sure what you want, what you want to do, like in the game. There's several things, and I think the only thing I don't use would be agility and defense. There's about four stats in here, and it's strength, magic, agility, and defense. And for the most part, um, unless you're going to hit your guy, I think the max level is 50. Unless you're going to take your guy to 50 and already plan on leveling all of them, there's really no point in trying to get like defense or agility unless that's going to be your main thing. But for me, I just go straight to magic. Like fighting's fun, but I prefer dealing it big than sitting here mashing buttons. And PvP wise, I'm pretty sure magic always wins. Seems kinda unfair, but they can avoid the match pretty easily, so it really depends on the player. For the most part, even if I do magic, I lose the PvPs. I don't know. I'm not good at this game. But good enough to play this. Thank you. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. Oh, I ran into him at the last second. I didn't use a potion, right? Yeah, sweet. See, I told you, all you really need is all of those, like, things. All the food, and you'll be fine. As long as Captain Douchebag over here doesn't slam you down like you're freaking, I don't know, pizza or something. Hmm. <gasps> Treasure! Big booty! Make it rain, make it rain! See, the thing about, I love about this mission is it's the first mission and you get rain and so much cash. And probably shouldn't tell you this because it'll ruin the game in a way. Because you probably never thought about it. You probably will, I don't know. You can come back to this mission several times and just do it over and over. And the higher level you are, the easier it gets, which means the easier the money is. Come here, big mama. Yeah. See, so look at that money. And that's playing alone. So, if you're like level 20 or something, you come back here, you'll beat this thing within, what, 3 minutes? Come back, 177, keep leveling up more money, and I'm going to put this all in magic. And next episode, you guys are going to see how awesome that magic is. But, for now, I'm going to go. This is Kyle, or Burmese boy. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm out.